How you doing? Good, man. How are you guys? Just mentioned uh, when you played in LA under Luke, uh, a lot of the concepts here are the same drills. Like, how similar? I mean, I know it's one yeah, yeah. day, but how similar does it feel? It's similar, similar, very similar. Sorry, sorry. Uh, very similar. Um, yeah, yeah. Let me see that. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I got to work with uh, Luke a little bit um, coming into the league when he got that job in L.A. Um, he came straight from here, so kind of, kind of the same concepts. Here's what, how was day one? It was good. It was good, man. Like I said, just to get the opportunity to be around these guys. Uh, we got that first one out the way. Um, just looking forward to finishing off the week strong going into preseason. What secrets did you learn from staff in the post-practice post shooting routine? Uh, not really too many secrets. Just more about, you know, like I said, being hands-on, close up to how he works, you know, how he works every day, um, how he works on the court, off the court, um, in the weight room. Um, just just being able to see those, I think that's that's more valuable to me. You guys went for two and a half hours today, which was longer than any practice they had last year. Was that normal? I mean, you were on a young team last year. Is two and a half pretty normal? That this feel like a long time? Yeah, I mean, I've never – I can't recall the last time I've – uh, that recall last time I've had uh, that long of a practice or whatnot, but I think it's necessary. You know, you got a lot of um, a few older guys, a lot of younger guys, so you know, developing that 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 chemistry and you know that that aura that coach wants, I think it's it's necessary to do that sometimes. He said he stopped and started practice quite a bit during those two and a half hours. What were you able to pick? Was, was it all just X's and O's? Was, was it veterans stepping in and guiding? Yeah, it was a little bit of everything. Like you said, we got we got a, a mixture of both. So um, just kind of getting a feel of what coach wants and, and um, how, what he wants going into practice and, and just the concepts that he wants, I think that's, that's kind of figuring that part out right now. Uh, Steve Kerr said that he was um, going to make sure that he makes a, a conscious effort to talk to you and coach you because you guys haven't talked during the summertime. How has that been your first practice under uh, Steve? Oh, it's cool. It's cool, man. He's a you know a genuine guy. You know somebody that you can definitely connect with and and and, and develop a rapport that that's gonna help you know push the needle. Um, yeah, like you said, over the summertime it's kind of hard to connect uh, due to USA and all the other things he had going on. Um, but we're gonna be we're gonna see enough of each other, so looking forward to that. Has he given you the green <clears throat> light whenever you want to shoot it? You got it. Um, I think it's more about developing that that chemistry of knowing. <clears throat> what a good shot is versus what a better shot is. So um, I, I think that's where, we're, where, we're, where we're, we're at right now. What are your thoughts on the defense after one practice and, and just sort of the new schemes and things like that? Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, I've kind of been around a little bit to, to know what the schemes are. So um, it's, it's, it's all become a second nature for me, you know, just having that experience around the league a little bit, um, guarding these guys throughout, you know, a year and playing, playing against them throughout a year. So you kind of, you kind of pick up on it. I think this came up yesterday in the press conference that even though you've been in the league a while, you're still only 20 years old. Yeah. Um, do you feel older just given the time you've had in the league? How, how are you different maybe than when you were at 18 years old? Yeah, I mean, I've never been 23 before, uh, but it's been <laughs> – I definitely feel that that a that, um, little bit of wisdom, a little bit of experience, um, just being around a little bit. Um, definitely grown since being an 18-year-old rookie coming into the league and not knowing what I was signing up for versus going into this my fifth training camp, knowing what to, to do and knowing what I'm expecting for myself. Yep. I'm a sneaker-free agent. <laughs> we'll see. Was today energizing or how different did it feel to be? Their first official practice to everybody here. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely that first day of school vibe. You know, um, just the atmosphere, everybody kind of with, with with 110 energy level. Um, I think it's I think it's what's needed, man. Like you said, you got a, a great group of younger guys that are this is their first time going through this uh, process. So definitely got to you know kind of lean with it and show show them how it's done. But at the same time, um, let them bump their head and let them you know figure it out at the same time. Is that a balance that you have to hit trying to lead some of the newer yeah, guys for sure. and then also, you know, listening to the veterans and the coaches and everything that everybody else that you're getting used to? For sure, for sure. Um, simple as that, you know, figuring out that balance. I'm curious, how much was Ron Adams around today and talking? Because he has a new role, role on the staff. I mean, it, but does it seem like he's just... He's like a, I'm horrible with names. This is only my first day of school. Um, oh, yeah, defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was the question? Just how much was he around? Because he has a new role on the team this year. I know you weren't on last year. Yeah. Was he around like a normal coach today? 
I mean, honestly, I didn't. I don't know what difference because I didn't. I wasn't here. So, um, but just seeing him, I mean, he's definitely around. So, um, you talked about how much you admired Steph when you were younger. Yeah. Before you entered the league. Yeah. What example? <coughs> just watch every game he played. Did you have a poster on the wall? What? How, how did that manifest itself? Um, you know, just being one of the one of the guys. I mean, coming into the league, I was kind of frail, and um, I could shoot the ball a little bit. I could pass the ball a little bit. Um, so just watching him throughout the throughout his process of being able to guide to take advantage of being frail and how he used that against a stronger defender or how he got his shot off against more athletic defenders, stuff like that. Um, I tried to, you know, take away from because that's something that I had a problem with coming into the league. Um, like I said, playing a few years, um, watching his his process and a few other guys' process, you see and you pick up on things. So. And do you remember him going back to Davidson or was it mostly? No, no, no. Definitely his NBA process. Um, Davidson was a little too, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, just kind of studying his moves, you know, when I from a distance. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.